I'm recording all this Ian Davis. This is just a quick peek into what's going on with me right now and what you guys can expect in the future. Stress got inspired. Pretty much I was going through, um, I've been going through depression, battling depression for a while. And uh, so I pretty much channeled all of my, my, my emotions and my, what all my mind was going through into making that song and that's pretty much what I'm doing with this new music that I got coming out is trying to find a way to release all the stuff that I've been going through mentally and so that's pretty much where stress came from it was like a it's an outpour of my emotions I don't know it's just like uh, I guess the people that's around me music most definitely makes me uh, I'm not me without 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 my music, and I'm not, I'm not me without the people that are around me supporting me. So that's pretty much what makes Ian Davis Ian Davis, I guess. My upcoming album, um, people can expect something like they've never heard from me, uh, because this this new album is supposed to be about. It's really a therapeutic way therapy therapy for me. It's a way for me to. It's a way for me to release all the things that have been going on in my mind. It's a way for me to release my emotions. And uh, it's like a way for me to bridge a gap between my past and my future. And so it's like I'm trying to get from where I've been and try to get to where I'm going. And so that's pretty much what this new album is about. It's about me just like letting go of old things, finally, that I've been struggling with for a long time and finding myself all over again. And uh, it's called Love Fiend, as a matter of fact. It's like, um, because I go through things like my depre like my, my, my form of depression just tells me that I'm gonna have a hard time loving somebody. Nobody loves me, stuff like that. And so that's what, I, that's what I go through mentally. And so it's like I've always wanted to feel love, but never felt like I felt it. And so this is how I'm, I'm finding myself. So this is, what to, this is what you can expect from my new album. Ian Davis is just uh, a young guy with aspirations and dreams that he refused to let anybody stop from happening. And uh, I'm just a kid from Leland, North Carolina, trying to make it. Uh, I'm, I'm very driven, I'm eager, and I'm willing to work, work hard for whatever I have to do to make sure that the people around me and me our success. That's who I am. I'm, I'm one to look out for myself, but also try to help everybody else around me at the same time. Music keeps me going. My acting keeps me going. My, my, my mother keeps me going. My Pretty much my support system keeps me going. Everything that I can do to keep my mind focused and keep my mind steady, that's what keeps me going. And uh, just being able to get up on stage keeps me going, knowing that I have something to look forward to, putting smiles on people's faces through doing what I love to do. Touring is, it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of stress at the same time. It's real stressful. Um, it's very stressful, especially during this time because going overseas, it's a lot of stuff going on with our president and, 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 and that country where I'm at in Australia. So it's like, it's very controversial, but people don't hear about it, I guess, because I'm not a mainstream artist yet or, what, or whatnot, but it's very controversial over there. So like, I have to come home so often because it's a chance that I might get over there and not be able to come back because something may break out between our country and their country. So a lot of people don't know that, but it's really, it's very controversial and it's very tiring. Cause that's a 17 hour flight I'm taking just about every two weeks. So yeah. At the tour, working on season two of City Limits. Um, and I'm working on Sam Cooke movie. I'm gonna be playing Sam Cooke. And so, uh, at the end, of course, working on my album, and it's working on, it's working on me. So that's pretty much what's, what's at, coming after this tour. Sam Cooke, for one. I like a lot of the Motown artists. Um, Andrew Richard, Jamel Grant, Jerry Wayne, Chris Sims, like, seeing them, how hard they work, and they're from around the same area that I'm from. That's a, it's a, it's a real inspiration because you can put yourself around people with like minds and you can see how, how hard they work and how driven they are and it just makes you want to do the same, put that same work into your craft. David Ruffin, 
Marvin Gaye, The Temptations, uh, The Whole Temptations, including Dennis Edwards, uh, Smokey Robinson, my all-time favorite Sam Cooke, uh, Chris Brown, Aaron Neville. Uh, it's, it's a lot of people I can't even name. And then locally, like P. Grant. Uh, let's see. I'm a fan of Drew Love. I'm a fan of Jerry Wayne. Like it's, it's, it's a variety of people. It varies. So it just depends on what mood I'm in. Now that I have signed or signed and I have the means and the ability to work with some people, um, on my album, on my new album, my first album, I'm going to be trying to, we're, we're working on getting features with August Alcina, J. Cole, and uh, Colonel Lau. Also, we got a few features from um, ATM Quote, working on that one, and uh, Juice the Rapper. So it's a, uh, I think it's going to be a dope album. So yeah, that's what, that's pretty much it.